So, uh, Jeannie, you famous, ain't you? <laughs> what are this Jackie sixteen? They always said you're a legend in your own mind. No, I'm serious. <laughs> you really, you're, you've been traveling the world in, 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 your, in your occupation. What is your occupation? Uh, radio DJ, maestro, um, community musical weaver. Mm, mm. Let's let's start with the one I guess you're known for, which would be DJ. When I say known, I mean known in wider circles. You know, um, um, how did that? How does that? Devo- well, let, let's go back. Let me say back. I mean backwards. DJing now is not like DJ when you started, right? So no. take us take us here. Your, do the modern DJ and then go backwards. How 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 it evolved and how you how how it, how it links up if it does continue to link. Well, it started with not having actual what people would consider proper DJ equipment mm. at WBAI and using these old rosewood technique turntables that luckily had a pitch. That was the unique thing about them when they were released, I later learned. Mm. Um, a straight tone arm. And you could actually play um, records that were pressed at 78 speed as well. Okay, yeah, so in other words, you had two settings, so it was a 33, 33, and 78? And 45. 45, okay. And there was um, a radio board that consisted of pots, mm-hmm, they were mm-hmm, called, mm-hmm. instead of, which were Bakelite, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, instead of uh, Slider. faders. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. that came later. So what that meant was uh, when you took something out of queue, mm-hmm. When you knock that out of the you know the pot out, mm-hmm. um, no longer could you actually hear it as a split cue in your headphones. Mm. So you had to um, trust your blend or trust what you were doing before, you, you know, because it was just up to um, whatever happened after that. Once you brought them both up. So what's, what was the next? What was the next jump techn- technologically? You know, uh, for us DJs. Uh, having for myself. Um, two 1200 technique turntables and a two track mixer at first. So you had a mixer and a two um, track. So, mixer. yeah, mm-hmm. w- which technically could have four inputs too, but it was mm-hmm. before there were any CDJs at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. And then I would say the next progression from that was CDJs. Yeah, so, um, uh, CDJ, I don't even know what So, that what is. that is, is it's like um, a digital turntable, but. Okay what was considered you would burn your music to CD and then it turned into oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a USB drive that mm. you could pop in as that well, which one, is the main thing that most mm. of us use in certain circles. I feel like certain technology, because there's mm. many options now, that's mm-hmm. what's different with DJing. Mm-hmm. But certain circles, there's certain equipment that goes with that culture mm-hmm. too. Let's go back so to a quick- hip-hop DJ would have a different culture too, but I've had to be on both kinds of setups, and it's just knowing the equipment. Being an engineer has been key. A lot of engineering learned at, in radio. When you say engineer, you mean like a board engineer? Actual, board. yeah, sound engineer, yeah. Um, audio engineer. Mm-hmm. And that was always kind of my secret weapon. Um, and and then the Odyssey DJs advancing to... Um, I kind of skipped the whole, um, they're called, um, it's uh, using an interface Mm -hmm. from your laptop to play digital files, Mm -hmm. but on um, data, it's like data vinyl. So that it's technically, it's like a piece of vinyl, but actually it's um, able to read back to the, your digital files that you have and you play from a program either there's Serato or well the most well known Serato and Tractor I'm mm-hmm. more Tractor hip hop is more Serato I feel like but mm-hmm. that's even out of the box now mm-hmm. so there's so many different kinds of DJs now okay, hold on just a second so uh, mm-hmm. we're talking at the time you were uh, j- just with no turntables but with the pots that, let's, <laughs> let, let, let's say let's yeah. just, 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 just let's say that's the late the very late 80s Early no, 90s. no, no, that's 90s. Okay, well, 90s. Yeah. Um, when I, okay, that's the 90s, right? And now to this to this alliteration, that's only this. That's only early 2000s. Or what? What is that? That's a very. In other words, there's a lot that happened in that that a uh, 10 year span, no? Yeah, mm, no. A lot happened more in 1999 and 2000s. 
Mm-hmm. It really changed in the 2000s because all of a sudden people were creating CDJs before there was even a USB thing. Um, you know, Newmark was a big deal. Mm-hmm. Pioneers became kind of the standard, like techniques are to vinyl, mm-hmm. um, 1200s are to vinyl. Um, and um, I better stop and say, well, what, what are 12, so people know, what are 1200s? Mean? It's um, a. Um, Technique 1200s. I mean, that's what they're called. It's 12 inch. They play 12, you know. It's a, What's the turntable? Yeah. Uh, it's a turntable mm-hmm. um, with a pitch control, direct mm-hmm. drive, mm-hmm. Um, and um, not a straight tone arm, but I think some have been fashioned with straight mm-hmm. tone arms. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Well, you're talking a lot of technical right now. It's but professional right. and it can handle a lot and you can backspin. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Anyways, well, you're talking about a lot of technical, but but, but how did technical uh, technique um, uh, deal with uh, the crowds? You know, the the actual dancers, the, your, your your feedback loop. I call it your feedback loop because with, with, without without the dancers, you're not going to be able to DJ, and without the DJ, the dancers can't dance. No, it's basically your instrument, your tools. Mm-hmm. Um, so, as an instrument. Um, Yes, it's very tactile. It's very um, creative side of your brain. Mm-hmm. Um, you're visually connected because you're pulling pieces of vinyl. Mm-hmm. Me personally, if I look at even if there's a coffee stain on a white label mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the label is already gone, there's no information on it. I know what that record is by looking at it. I know the vibe mm-hmm. and how I will. I can use it to connect from other pieces of music to the audience to keep the flow going and the energy. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's what I feel like is the most challenging digital is dealing with it being less visual. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, they've added that you can have the the artwork Mm -hmm. um, there present, um, embedded so that you can see it. Mm -hmm. But by the time it's so small and on your screen, if you are using a laptop, let alone even a dial mm-hmm. on a CDJ if you have a USB drive in, mm-hmm. um, it's still, it's not quite the same. <laughs> Digital <laughs> scrolling is a little different than touching and mm-hmm. looking through your vinyl. I know, that's, that's, that's a subtle thing I'm, I'm trying to ask you about. Does mm-hmm. that affect the, the, the way you the way you read the audience and the way the audience reacts to the, 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 the you know, the, what, it affects you my know. enjoyment of your experience, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it takes a lot more um, and more of the right environment to be able to go beyond that. Me, I'm very zen within the music that I'm playing. I'm very attuned and comfortable with technology, mm-hmm. so I look at it also as playing an instrument mm-hmm. when it comes to digital even when it came to you know just doing it by hand and scratching and rolling back and um, what is kind of cool with technology is they've tried to make some of the nuances that a lay person might not even realize um, is a part of the experience of DJing and performing um, versus if they just were playing around with one of these programs. Mm-hmm. So you can see the breakdown on a piece of vinyl where the music starts to break down because the grooves start to spread out and they mm-hmm. are seemingly look lighter that rather than denser mm-hmm. um, to other stretches of grooves on a piece of vinyl, right? Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> what's cool is if you use a program that's just free, there's a free version, and it's very powerful. It's called C and then D, the letter D and J, C. No, I'm sorry, it's called D-J-A-Y, D-J-A-Y, D-J. Mm-hmm. And um, it is so powerful. If you have it on a tablet, mm-hmm. it looks like two 1200s, like the mm-hmm. turntables I was telling you mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. It, so that already visually starts to uh, connect with what my whole um, experience has been mm-hmm. and memories. Um, and oh. then okay, yeah. scroll. I still have to scroll through files. Mm-hmm. Um, in a sense, which is of not like looking through digital. a crate, you know. <laughs> no. Um, however, what's cool is you see those. They've actually the file itself. Um, you see on the virtual turntable on the mm-hmm. turn and the the image turning. You mm-hmm. actually see those breakdowns the same. 
Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, there's also a waveform that you can watch oh, okay. you above it. Okay. So I'm an audio engineer and producer, mm-hmm. so I know waveforms from working in everything mm-hmm. from Ableton to um, audio editing programs, mm-hmm. you know, audition and all kinds of stuff. Um, so that's kind of cool, too, because that's a part of it, too. You, you can see a natural breakdown. You can see frequencies change. Mm-hmm. Um but um, yeah. So what, what 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 does the modern DJ want? When I say want, what would make you even uh, more effective? Um, well, it's more right now. It's like, do you like strawberry ice cream, chocolate, or mm-hmm. vanilla? Mm-hmm. You know, you have choices. So mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's what can you do with what you choose to use? Mm-hmm. It's your toolbox, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's where we're at now. It's amazing. Your toolbox can be so different from the next person. The thing that doesn't change, though, is is your knowledge and your... When you say your knowledge, that means... Of the music okay, okay. and what's flowing through you and the dancers and understanding mm-hmm. and feeling, you know, that mood of a piece of music and... Mm-hmm. Um, one big amateur thing that happens though with people and they that a lot of us experience that came out mm-hmm. of the vinyl culture um it's a pet peeve is um uh <laughs> when you use auto auto pitch oh. which you can do with digital now you're like yeah make this the same and let it auto mix oh, oh, and, and, oh. and instead of me it's you, like by you, hand you I take would the human element it. out of it <clears throat> yeah Except me as a DJ that's experienced, I look at it as a helpful tool. Mm. So I could say, yeah, sync this right now. But immediately, because I play a lot of music that has very intricate rhythms. Mm. So the computer's not that smart. (laughs) Uh, You still need that human um, Mm. element. And also I play a lot of live, so it's not really going to sync up, get synced. So I um, I manually mm-hmm. do it, but what helps is I can then take depending on the program I'm working in, I can take a jump mm-hmm. and at least get the two BPMs set at the same. But then I manually choose my point mm-hmm. um, to actually sync mm-hmm. the two. <clears throat> That's done manually. Okay. Well. Um, so so it, it's helpful, mm-hmm. but this is the issue. They will just stay in the same BPM. Mm. So it's like their entire set could be 123.1. Mm, mm. And it's like, really? It's like that's not very um, natural mm. because the music wasn't produced in the first place at, at the same BPM. Mm. Um, so that's a part of... I guess we just said BPM is a beats, beats per minute. Beats per minute, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a part of the experience of building up energy in a room. Mm-hmm. Um not only the the compositions but and the elements within, but also the um, the speed, mm-hmm. um, the pitch, the mood. Mm-hmm. There's a lot to it. Well, I, I want to sort of almost end it here, but just uh, just lastly, I guess, um, wh- what do you what do you want from from your from your crowd? You know what? Uh, people have followings and stuff like that. They're dedicated to whatever have you. But uh, and a lot of times, those crowds, those fans, don't want you to do anything else but what they know. You know what I mean? So what do you, how do you, what do you want from your Oasis crowd? What, well, I you? have to say, honestly, I'm kind of a little, um, because I've always been about breaking new music mm-hmm. that emulates and has that spirit of those classics that I love. Um, but giving a chance for new stuff so mm-hmm. that there will be modern day cla- I call them modern day classics mm-hmm. um, it's harder to come by where you find that one tune everybody's playing because mm-hmm. everything's there's so many more people DJing and so spread out more um, I don't know, it's just different um, so it's it's just I want people to come with an open mind and be ready for a ride and those are the people that I think follow me and have um, for that uniqueness. It's not predictable. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know necessarily the mood I'm going to be in at that moment. Um, I pull accordingly, but I really pull for what's happening right then and there. On the boat party that I do, which is pretty famous mm-hmm. now, having had run for a 19-year run. Mm-hmm. Um, That's when you actually have live musicians with you also. Live musicians as well. Mm-hmm. And the other thing, too, is there's always, everybody knows, like, when I go into the last 20 minutes, 15 minutes of our journey, they know uh, when I start to play some classics that are classics known to Liquid Sound Lounge people mm-hmm. that the journey's coming to an end, but it also creates this crescendo too because mm-hmm. they're tunes that are exceptionally familiar to um, the followers. Yeah. So the energy really goes... Well, let's, let's, let's say this is just a one, mm-hmm. one part. We'll, we'll talk a, a lot more of other aspects of what you've been doing because we do have to do the boat as the boat right as a separate thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Judy Hopper. Thank you, Anthony.